everybody. Bud Welcome to the Malone Family Bird and Wildlife Preserve. Unofficial, of course. I'm back again today with another survival tip for y'all. Today we're going to be talking about surviving thirst. Dehydration is exactly what is going to kill you if you get lost in the desert. Staying hydrated is your number one priority. Here in the Sonoran Desert of the southwestern United States, the land itself is quite dry. The water table for drilling a well can be thousands of feet. You're probably not going to dig yourself to water unless you're in the Hacienda River bottom. So what you're going to be looking for are the succulent water-bearing plants. There are three very edible plants that I want to tell you about that will save your life in the Arizona desert. The first is the barrel cactus. Barrel cactus are various members of two genera, Echino cactus and Ferro cactus, found in the deserts of southwestern North America. Barrel cactus was lesni, which is what our barrel cactus here is, has fish hook needles, as you can see. Don't confuse the barrel cactus with young saguaro, though. Saguaros are a protected species cactus. One easy way to tell the difference is that a young saguaro will have straight needles instead of hooked ones. My daughter has been eating the fruit and seeds of this very cactus for years. She says she likes the taste of it. A Chino cactus, Grusoni, a more round barrel cactus, has a variety of colorful needles. They are also hooked, but not quite as pronounced. So what you'll want to do is to cut the top of the barrel cactus off, then you mash up the insides of it, and then you eat the pulp. As far as taste or flavor, the closest thing to a barrel cactus that I can think of is eating watermelon rinds. Optunia, or prickly pear, is a genus in the cactus family, Cactaceae. The most common culinary species is the Indian fig Optunia. Most culinary uses of the term prickly pear refer to this species. All are edible, but don't confuse them with the beaver tail. The prickly pear are all flat paddled with long straight spikes. Beaver tail have only small fuzzy needles and are not for eating. And if you catch the prickly pear in bloom, then you're in for a treat. The fruit tastes like grapes. This is a yucca. Yucca is a genus of perennial shrubs and trees in the family Asparagaceae, subfamily Agavodae. Its 40 or 50 species are notable for their rosettes of evergreen, tough sword-shaped leaves, and large terminal pinnacles of white or whitish flowers. With the yucca, you'll probably want to stick with the fresh young part of the plant or the fruit. The rest of the plant is way too fibrous, but it is edible. With a fourth place finish is the teddy bear choya. While it is a water-bearing succulent cactus, it is not the easiest thing to consume. I'll be doing a closer detailing of it in a future video. Well, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If this is your first time visiting my channel or just haven't bothered before now, then click that subscribe button. I wanna hear from you all. All comments, questions, suggestions, and gripes are welcome in the comments section. Ask me anything. I love exploring the desert, and I love sharing it with you. Come explore the Arizona desert with me. Thanks for watching. Keep exploring and stay safe. Bug me out.